29 Super Fortress, known as the Dock, just landed at the Branson Airport. Weather delays today caused the aircraft to arrive later than planned. They'll be hosting flight experience tours through this Friday, September 4th. Keller 10's Jacob Blunt is live at the Branson Airport where that aircraft just landed a few moments ago. Jacob, what does the flight experience tour entail? Yes, Heather, we'll get right into that. But before then, I just wanted to show you guys the B-29 that you said just landed here a few minutes ago down the runway here at the Branson Airport. It just now pulled over to park, and now the pilot and the crew are going to debark the aircraft. And there are going to be four options that you can select to ride in the fully restored World War II aircraft as well. Customers can pay to ride in the seat of the pilot, the navigator, gunner, or even in the very front of the aircraft as the bombardier. But the tickets start at about $600 a person, and there will be only four flight tours done in Branson before the dock takes off again for Fayetteville, Arkansas this Friday. The B-29 dock flight experience passengers must be at least six years old and able to climb in and out of the aircraft on their own and sit in their own seat and operate their own seat belt. The deputy director of marketing for the Branson Airport, Ty Lewis, describes the experience when he was up close and personal with the B-29. There is still room available on these these epic journeys uh, of uh, in seats inside this aircraft. The uh, great thing about this is you'll be able to get up close and personal to the plane. You can't get on the ramp this time, but you can get up on the flight deck and then all outside the fence. You can hear the engines roar. You can watch it fly. You can watch it land. Watch it take off, and it, it's quite an experience. If you've never been close to one of these large B-29s. Uh, it, it shakes the ground, so you really have to come and, and check that part out. The aircraft is set to take passengers as high as 8,000 feet to give them a true look at what veterans could see back in this World War II era aircraft. Reporting live from the Branson Airport, this is Jacob Blunt, Ozarks First.